like you got to go there, man. Like that was the, the first thing that came to my mind yeah. because it was just, it's just one of those places, right? Yeah, marriage is definitely going to be on the cards then <laughs> for him. Yeah, yeah. She'll be getting down on one knee yeah. and proposing. Well, the school holidays is finally coming to an end. I think there's probably families across the Bay of Plenty that are going, thank you, thank you, go back to school, please. Yeah, take a breath, you can breathe now, relax, unclench. Yeah, yeah, and probably the vacuum cleaner gets a little bit of a rest now, I'd imagine. Yeah. Jeez, it's, uh, it's been a blast though, this one. It has. Um, we've definitely had some special moments. Yeah, and I think that there weren't too many tears from myself, from yourself, and from the little ones as well. Yeah, I can hardly believe it. Uh, it's a little bit out of the norm, but um, I would say it's been a success. Down to the fact that we got in some entertainment. We did, and so we ventured off over to Rotorua yeah. for, well, uh, yeah, the, a road trip, which is always scary. Yeah, the car journey. <laughs> ah, what's going to happen? Especially when it's like, how much longer are we go- is it going to take to get there? Yeah, that so. uh, 45 minutes probably felt like an eternity to them. Yeah, I mean, we literally had just driven out of the driveway and they started asking how long it's going to take. Yeah, so uh, that was a good start always. Uh, that's the way it rolls. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we, we went and hit motion entertainment yep. for the first time. Yes, I, finally. Well, f- like we've been wait- like yeah. literally waiting to go there, eh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming of been so excited so perfect opportunity i think that it was a perfect opportunity for the kids but not for us because well i mean i still had fun but you know we were kind of full-time uh monitoring yeah supporting uh, supporting that's right yeah Yeah, and encouraging and encouraging and taking questionable videos and photos of them in vulnerable situations on some of the the stuff that was there but i guess the cool thing was is that you know, we decided to turn up at, you know, Sparrow's Sparrow's Fart, Sagok, yeah. you know, kind of thing. So we were like one of the first groups there and we had the whole space to ourselves. Perfect. You gotta get ahead of the game. Tip. Get ahead of the game. That's that is a tip, yeah. And so we got a chance to explore things yeah. and there were so many cool things to yeah, I was just blown away how big the place was. Yeah, you could be there all day, right? So we ended up picking three activities. There's lots of different packages, obviously, to choose from. So you choose whatever everyone wants to do, which can be a little bit of a struggle, but we got there in the end. The kids wanted to go on the trampoline. Yeah. What was it called? I think it was called the Vortex? Uh, the Vortex was the Ninja Park. Ninja Park, right, yeah. okay. And the trampoline was probably just called the trampoline, wasn't it? That's some extreme jumping thing yeah hold on i've got got a note hold on i think i've got the notes here somewhere yeah i've actually still got the receipt oh phew it's called the tramp okay it's literally called the tramp right you've got it yeah so that was cool we got a we got a multi-pass so i kept the multi-pass just so you know for reference Uh, and that was really it was so funny because the kids went on there hissing to get in there had it to themselves and within five minutes just like melting with sweat because yeah. they were just like out the blocks real hot. Yep, they were exhausted already, weren't they? <laughs> they were, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I was a bit jealous. So I wanted to uh, have a go as well. So I think you and me are going to be back for some adult action. Yeah, yeah more than likely. Uh, the Vortex was a funny one as well. Yep. Like that was another cool spot for kids and probably growing up kids. I don't know yep. if that actually led us on that. I'm not too sure. Probably I'm um, yeah. going to lose a few of uh, the old up. Uh, pounds first before I'd hang off some of those things but yeah uh yeah just so funny to watch the kids rattling around there and I think the ninja park so awesome because I mean the vortex um it really gives them the opportunity to take risks and Mm. so awesome to see them overcoming their fears and being brave that's what I loved about it yeah like five or six years old I would have been freaking out uh, on some of those things there Mm -hmm. but uh yeah you could see that a lot of the kids there by the time there was more children that turned up uh, that they had some mana. Yeah. They had some big mana. They did. And uh, what better way to wrap that off with some arcade games? Do, 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 do. Win some prizes, which is yeah. really cool. So that was a lot of fun. There's And there was other stuff there that we just, you know, didn't get into. Like it was yeah. a, a couple of those, you know, amusement or attraction things there were yeah. enough to fill the space for a f- like plenty of time. Yeah, definitely. Um, what else do they have there? We had the mini, mini golf, golf. Yeah. and um, 
Tim and Bowling. Tim and Bowling and the uh, video game stuff. What yeah. you call that? They do uh, all the virtual reality that's things. It. Yeah, yep. that's what they that's what they call it these mm-hmm. days. Yeah, the video game stuff, virtual reality, and yeah. I, like that's what we were going. Yeah, I want to go on those. That was definitely a draw card for me. I'll be back for that for sure. Yeah, and by the time we left, it was like there was lots of families there. Yeah, having fun. Yeah, it looked like everyone was having fun there. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, so um, everyone enjoyed it. And uh, I was asking them yesterday, in fact, you know, what's been your highlight of the holidays? And motion entertainment was number one. And so we were in the mount and we were uh, strolling on down. Mm -hmm. And don't you just love it when you stop and go, wow, hello, there's something new here? Uh, It was pretty much like WTF in my mind. I'm like, what is this place? It got the look back, didn't it? Yeah, the truck passed and it's like, oh, rewind. Do, 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 do. Yeah. What am I looking at here? And like brand new into Marwell, Mount Monganui, on the main strip of Monganui Road, a place called Smooth. Smooth. I think I pronounced it right. Smooth. Smooth. And smooth it is because it was like a treasure chest of all the stuff we love. It definitely had some uh, goodies in there. It was like uh, walking back in time a little. Lots of retro cool pieces. Well, look at me. I'm wearing one of yeah, my one of my purchases from Smooth. Represent. Yeah, yeah. Giddy on up. So I'm pretty stoked with the uh, you know the what I bagged from the store there. But uh, like I was looking through because we were on a little bit of a, a, a strict time schedule. Yeah. I could I like it was like a fluster. I was like ah. uh, panic panic shopping. I was panic shopping, <laughs> right? But it was really cool to have a look around at all the stuff they've got there. Uh, the staff there were awesome as well. Even the owner came down to come and say how's it to us, which yeah. was really cool. We appreciated that. Uh, but even the changing rooms will look super dope. Yeah. Uh, lots of things in there. I was just like, man, I need to get back there and get that stuff. Uh, I, the only thing I was, I was like, dang it. I found a couple of really cool things. And obviously, I haven't been shredding early enough because I couldn't <laughs> quite fit them. I was like, damn it. It's okay. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there. <sighs> But that was a really cool store, right? Yeah. I just can't believe you ended up walking out with more things than me. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, who's the princess here? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Got a couple of bangers. Yeah. So looking forward to donning and wearing those yeah. over the next little bit. And if you like if you like different clothes, mm. right? If you like something that's just a little bit different, there's, a lot, there's actually a range of cool things yeah. that are in there, though. So many different, like, T-shirts, like, prints. Awesome. Yep. 80s, 90s vibes. You've got your yep. Prince t-shirts, mm. Kiss, you know, if you're into that. Yeah, it's worth going to check out. And definitely, like, there's yeah, there's a good chance you'll find a gym that is fit for you in there as well. So, yeah, go check out Smooth, Downtown The Mount. Ooh, they got it going on. We'll be back. We'll be back. And then over the school holidays, we managed to escape ourselves. Yeah. Get a bit of... Uh, us time yeah and we ventured out to the historic village in Tauranga for a date night I guess you'd call it I'm gonna call Hell it yeah. I'm gonna call I'm gonna <laughs> I jo- thought I was on a date I don't know about you <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah 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 me too me too uh, but that how look we went to Molka and again another one of those places which like I feel like I've left it too long but the, the wait was well worth it yeah so worth it gosh it was like walking into uh someone's home right you know <laughs> the, but it, was just, it was just you know it had that ambience and that yeah. you know home from home feeling and you also greeted by a couple of awesome people that you feel like you've known for years mm. Mm. but you don't know but now you know <laughs> now you don't want to leave no i didn't want to leave why didn't we want to leave because uh, it felt so good and so right there. And the yeah. food was like out of this planet. Amazing. Next level. They even had a side room in their, in this, in their place where you can book it out and mm. just have your own room. Like it's an yeah. old, very old, authentic, like it looks like a home essentially, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, they've, like, the way they've set it up was just like unreal. Just like yeah. instantly you were transported into a whole different place. Well, you come out and eat with me quite a bit, and you know that uh, it's very hard for me to choose one thing. So yeah. we asked them if they could give us 
a selection of the best. Basically, a, a bit of everything, yeah. right? It, has, it all came out. Like, I was just uh, in awe of, like, my senses were just yeah. on fire, right? Yeah, it, it felt like Christmas. Everything was just, the flavours were insane. I've, I've never tasted anything like that before. It was very special, very unique. And just really great just to hang out, sample a lot of the food, get a little bit messy in the sense that, oh, well, I was because I was yeah. like getting stuck into all of the beautiful food. But just a beautiful experience and just, yeah, again, getting down to the historic village there and, yeah, going and doing something a little bit different, going off the beaten track to go and enjoy it. And I will certainly go back there again and again yeah. and again for the food. If you're looking to impress someone, well, absolutely. Mm. And um, definitely somewhere to go for a special occasion. Yeah, well, I was talking to, you know, and this is a different, this is another story for a different day. My uh, boyfriend at the gym, you know, you've got to always have a. a oh, a, him again. Mike. Here we go. My mate, Mike. Oh, Mike. You've got to have someone at the gym that you can have a catch up with. And yeah. he was uh, talking to me about uh, his. Uh, lady that he's dating at the moment and he was asking for recommendations yeah. of where to take his lady and i'm like mocha like you gotta go there man like that was the, the first thing that came to my mind yeah. because it was just, it's just one of those places right yeah marriage is definitely gonna be on the cards then <laughs> yeah. for him yeah yeah she'll be getting down on one knee <laughs> yeah. and proposing totally it's that good but seriously it is right like that's we were talking about it afterwards how yeah that was one of the best food experiences i've had like since well, forever I can remember. Yeah, same. Yeah. Must be good. We both agree. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's a double tick. So yeah, if you're looking for somewhere to go out, whether it's on a date night or you just want to go out by yourself and just go try it out. Tauranga Historic Village, Molka, double ticks. And so there's been a big announcement, right? For some New Year's action. Yeah, that we're both going to be at. Both of us? Party time. Yeah. Party all the time, party all the time. Yes, New Year's Eve, which I'm really excited about this because uh, I'm, we're going to the Mount. We're going to Mount Monganui at the Rising Tide for bangers. So Sausages? <laughs> no, no, like, you know, party oh. bangers. Sorry. Uh, so what would be your New Year's Eve party banger that you would play? Uh... Uh, so, uh, 2000, party's over. Are we out of time? Am I out of time? It's 1999. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Uh, nope. What Prince, 1999. Okay. Oh, you are old school. Yeah. I like a bit of 80s, so. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, that seems like that could fit like a glove. Well, I'm really excited that uh, I'm going to be playing and there's going to be a special guest cameo couple yeah. of tunes played by yourself as well. Yeah, look out. <laughs> oh, that's going to be exciting. But yeah, so tickets have gone live uh, just recently. Early bird tickets, I think they're pretty much all gone now. So Wow. Yeah, if you're looking for something cool to do in the mount for New Year's Eve, which is a little bit different. And you want to hang out with us? Oh, yeah, okay. We've got to try and sell this to the people. So <laughs> uh, it's, it's like basically all the music that you can come and have a party and sing along to and uh, yeah, have some fun. So... I am jazzed up about this. Oh, sounds like the place to be. It, it is, and it will be, so make sure you go grab your tickets. And I think this will be, I don't know, like the, close to like the 16th, 17th New Year's Eve I've worked in a row. Ooh, you sound like a bit of a dinosaur. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know me bangers. <laughs> he knows the sausages. Yeah, I know my sausages really well. <laughs> But yeah, so it's uh, it's always fun to go out and uh, yeah, just like play tunes and get people to have the time of their life yeah. for the last day of the year. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? Watch everyone try and have those awkward kisses at midnight. Yeah, so that's, good. that's what I'm there for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, that's right. So there's going to be lots of that going on too, I would imagine. Yeah. So excited, go grab your tickets, we'll drop the... Details in the description of where you can find and go get them and come and hang out with us. Whoop. And finally, we have our grand giveaway for the month of October. Yeah, yeah. Our buddies at Satori over in Tauranga who make the most amazing sushi. We actually went there last night. Yeah, we got a lot of sushi. Yeah. But 
I actually thought we would be able to eat it all. That was like $150 <laughs> worth of sushi. Yeah, I think... For my, four people, four yeah, people. Yeah, my yeah. nine-year-old pretty much ate most of it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, I mean, it's just so damn good. Yeah. So, you know, don't miss out. Yeah, well, we're giving, yeah, well that's the thing. We're giving away a $100 food and <laughs> beverage voucher to someone in the month of October, or oh, at the end of October, and all you've got to do to you know get yourself in the draw is... You don't remember? No. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe, that's it. Yeah, nice and easy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so get yourself in the draw for that. And uh, yeah, you could be like us, enjoying uh, Satori Lounge like we did last night. Lots of it. Well, it's been a crazy couple of weeks over the school holidays. It's actually been quite a bit of fun. We're on the final stretch towards summer, which I'm really, really excited about. Mm. Lots of awesome guests coming into the studio to hang out with us. Yes. Like real interesting people from different walks of life yeah. too. Yeah, that's what I love about this journey we're on. We're getting to uh, meet some really interesting people from different walks of life with different stories to share. Absolutely. So uh, if you haven't seen our latest episode, make sure you check it out there. And yeah, we will see you soon. You will. Next week, probably. That's what we do. We do it weekly. The Bay's Entertainment Channel. Beats of Plenty.